Howdy again everyone, and today we're checking out a very unusual new optic from Astrohori, a 28mm f13 2x macro periprobe lens. Yes, it's a probe lens that can see around corners. I'd like to thank Astrohori very much for sending me a copy of this very unusual optic for testing, although as usual it'll be an independent review. The lens costs about $950 in the US or £900 here in the UK. It'll be available for Canon EF, Canon RF, Nikon Z, Fuji X, L Mount Alliance and Sony E Mount cameras, which is the version I'll be testing here today. It offers a full frame image circle. Now, the first thought I had when I heard about this thing was, what a crazy idea. A lens like that is just too niche. Who on earth is going to use it, and for what? I genuinely couldn't figure it out until I bothered to watch Astrohoi's explanation video, which made me feel stupid because, as you can see from it, the lens has plenty of uses for dynamic video work at very close distances to your subject. Ok, it's still a pretty niche product isn't it, but one which could offer a genuinely unique angle on things. Today's video is going to be a much, much simpler and shorter review than I normally make for the simple reason that my testing setup is just not designed for periscope style lenses at all and the mere thought of trying to complete all my standardised tests today gave me massive anxiety. But that doesn't really matter too much because this lens is obviously primarily designed for video work rather than stills photography, so the need to pixel peep at test charts isn't really there. All the same, I'll do the best I can in my coverage. I should mention that, although it's designed to shoot at up to 2 times macro distances, it can still shoot at infinity also. The entire front end of the probe is waterproof, able to be submerged up to 25cm, mind your camera when shooting around water though. And to top it all off, there's a series of LED lights at the end which can be adjusted to various strengths. Unfortunately they're not powered by your camera though, you will need a separate USB battery pack to power them which plugs in at the rear. Any USB power source will do, such as a small portable recharger. Those lights are really helpful though, as you'd expect, they have a dramatic impact on your final image, for better or worse, and they have a little remote control which lets their strength be adjusted. The build quality of the lens is real nice, metallic, tough and tightly assembled, it even comes with its own carry case. The rear of the lens is not weather sealed, but as I mentioned, the front probe is waterproof. At the rear there's a metallic geared focus ring that turns very precisely and a little heavily. In front of that comes the aperture ring, enabling you to adjust between f13 and f40 for extra depth of field, although obviously because of diffraction the lens is never going to be especially sharp at those dark apertures. The lens, as you can see, is easy to use. You will want to have a sturdy rig with a decent slider to take full advantage of it though. Handheld video work will be totally unacceptable, this really is something for professionals with a decent setup. And when it comes to still photography, well, I wouldn't bother at all really. <laughs> its narrow aperture and periscope design would make it just a complete pain to use. Stick with video on this one, where I found that sharpness and contrast were actually perfectly fine, just like other probe lenses. Astrohori seemed to have maintained that image quality, despite the unusual design. Overall, you will definitely have to know what you're doing to properly handle this crazy piece of kit, but if you do, well, its quality is all there, it works great, it's not bad value for such a specialist optic, and it'll serve certain video makers doing particular projects really, really well.